This is Mira's block of Pinot Noir in the Hyde Vineyard in Carneros. And of course, Carneros is in the Napa Valley. And so in relation to the rest of the Hyde Vineyard, for example, our Chardonnay, we're in the back end, so the northern part, where it's slightly warmer. Now this clone of Pinot Noir is called Calera. And clones in Pinot Noir are very, very important because you get a much different flavor profile depending on the clone. And not very uh, many places grow Calera clones, so this makes this particular site even more special. The Calera clone is, is a much, produce a much smaller cluster of Pinot Noir, so that tends to have a, a lot more concentration compared to other, other clones. And so what we like about that is we get more color, we get more aromatics, we get more structure, we get more of everything. And when we combine this with the winemaking that we do with the uh, correct use of oak, we're able to produce a much more elegant, unique Pinot Noir in comparison to others. So just like with most of the wines, you know, we're limited in how much we can make. So the Hyde Vineyard this year produced only 250 cases. How do the clones complement or challenge each other in the bottle? The clones can give you uh, different aspects of, of what you're looking for in the final product. So think about it as different colors you might use to paint. I like in, in the Stanley & Ranch, it's a mix of different clones. The 115 clone from that vineyard tends to produce a wine that's a little bit more structure and earth. And I think in the case of the Calera, it's just such a unique clone that it does really well by itself.